and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bannerman Z. It's going to be our next donation deck. It's going to be a, an aggressive Demacia version, a lot more aggressive than the ones that I usually play that focus on challenging. Um, instead, we're going to be focused on attacking. We got Lucian, we got Zed, two really good quick attack uh, champions. We also got Loyal Badger Bear in our three mana slot. Something that I usually play like a slower version with Protege, but no, we're going to be going aggressive with Badger Bear getting that extra power. Um, going to be important for that extra power with, with Relentless Pursuit and everything. And then our four mana slot, you know, we have our Grizzled Ranger and our Bannerman, and that's really where our, our units end is at four mana, except for just one Genevieve Elmhart at the top end. But we're going to be curving out to four and, you know, trying to get ahead and use Bannerman and then our spell spells like after that you know then we'll have our relentless pursuits and our concerted strike back to back all that kind of stuff um a couple rangers resolves because that's a really good quality spell as well so let's let's see how this does we only have the zeds are our only non demacia card um you know as far as the bannermans go we want to always be getting that bannerman trigger So let's see how it does. We're going to go play five games over in a ranked. Hey, not Ash. Sejuani. Not Frostbite Midrange. Yay. We'd love to have Rangers Resolve. This is a great Rangers Resolve matchup. And I'm going to be going War Chefs, not Lucian, on turn two. Be Demacia. It's more difficult to kill War Chefs. Eyes bigger. Still love to draw Rangers Resolve. That'd be the best card that we could draw. Attacked with that three, with that three three. Um. All right, let's mess some folks up. Never lost a fair game. I'm a people person. I had a really solid hand. Burn away the shadows. Who's that you got there? Alright, so two out of four with Lucian. All or nothing. I wanna have the repost protect Lucian. Perfect. The Mega Ring killed these two so that the Mystic Shot can kill that one. Well, that's just perfect. Yeah, this is this is just such a critical Rangers Resolve matchup. Like ra like Rangers Resolve right here would be amazing. Oh, the Mega Rain was doing damage to the Lucian also? Oh, I thought it was I thought it was doing damage to me and then the other and then those two. Oh, I missed that. 
Sentinels of light don't fear the Obviously, dark. yeah. Obviously, that repose was a complete waste. A I... World full of monsters. I'm glad I yeah, that was... That was bad. I missed that. I thought it was going to me and then those two. I mean, I just... I obviously just messed that up. GG's. Success. Get you noticed around here. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Don't really see anything else that this card's ever going to do. Might as well just play it. This game's already over. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. They had a great hand. I don't miss. I don't know what my favorite card design and animation is off the top of my head. I am somebody who likes, um, I don't know, I, I, I'm basically somebody who, I don't, I never, I don't really have favorites as much, like I, I appreciate, you know, so many things for what they are and I, I like just kind of everything, like so I, I don't really have favorites too much to be honest. I'm so good, I surprised myself! Sorry, I was kind of talking there and didn't really attack, but as we know, that game was already over. game was already over. Yeah. Alright, we're in the Ezreal bracket. Hopefully we find Ranger's Resolve. Alright, I'm eluding Fleet Feather Tracker this time. I probably should have mulliganed it last time. The reason why I'm mulliganing it is because it just dies to make a rain. And, you know, with everything else. And just doesn't get any kind of value from make it rain at all. Like, I, I think it just got a mulligan the one, you know, the one health unit in this matchup. And I wish I did the previous turn. Yeah, we're we're trying to be fast with with real with you know units that have small health, and so yeah, Ezreal decks are are built to beat units with small health. So just from a theoretic standpoint, like that's that's a bad matchup. But we can hit hard and we can be fast. Things work out for us. Um. But yeah, we don't we don't really want things like Fleet Feather Tracker. We had a couple of those last time. I really just I just want Ranger's Resolve. It's the only card I want. A game. Go on then. Um, charge. Wait a minute. I'd rather trade with the pool shark than a third of a make arena, guys. Hey, Zap. Need a hand? Can't say no to Fizz. Who 
without a sound. Of course, the other thing is our, our Relentless Pursuits, which I guess Relentless Pursuit is okay in some matchups, but not against a deck that's killing all your things. It just doesn't do anything. We've seen it in both of these games. This is the worst card in the deck. I don't like playing Relentless Pursuit decks. It's basically like this these kind of these two games that we've seen. Can't say no to Fizz. Really makes me not want to play Relentless Pursuit ever. My shield is yours. Alright, just you know, wanna get as many things in play before Bannerman as possible. We are gonna play it here because this is, you know, this is the best opportunity for it. You can't do this. Why are you here? That was a great card to draw. You fight or you swim. These woods belong to us. Where do you stand on cold shots? <laughs> you barnacle. Where are you going? All right, well, they had the blockers. We have done a good job against to make it rain so far in the deck. thing. Good. The card that they burned was a salvage. That's pretty nice. Um, <laughs> darn, they had another one. Compare, all right, so comparing to the kind of Demacia decks that I like to play, the more mid rangey version with a lot more challengers and, and larger units and um, and barriers and stuff like that, like that that kind of deck is is much better against Ezreal, like, like what we're playing against right now. But this deck is probably a lot better against Frostbite mid range, which is the number one deck in the format. 
Uh, I bet this deck does a lot better job of going under the Frostbite midrange and putting more pressure on. That would be my guess. Because um, that that kind of matchup's pretty difficult. Columbia with the midrange of Monty decks. Saying the frostbite's really good against this deck that we're playing. Well, what what have you been, what have you been playing against Cordek? Cordex, Cordex had a, a, a lot of success with this in Diamond in uh, on a different server and says that, they're, that the metagame that they've been playing against has been different. Really, Nakano, you've been doing good against that? Okay, hey, Nakano, you should go to... You should head over to YouTube. There was somebody asking about that matchup on YouTube, and I... You know, I had to, re you know, I responded up there too. But if you've been having success there, um, be good to uh, respond to. You know, like, uh, do I want two Zeds? I guess not. So I want Zed and Senna. I'm attacking to turn four Senna. Yeah, keep that. Okay, even playing against a lot of deep scouts and endure. Yeah, that matchup isn't too bad if you draw Ranger's Resolve, I agree. Ranger's Resolve is, I mean, I was saying it the whole time, it's the most important card. If we never had it. But it's the most important card against Ezreal to Fate. It's, it changes the complete complexion of the game. Or one single mana. Do not fear the shrouded path. Yeah, that's, yeah. I think that your your win percentage when you have Rangers Resolve is probably quite high with that deck against. Twisted Fate Ezreal. Um, I'm not sure which one of these three drops we want to play. We'll kind of see. I don't really want to block the 4-3. I'm not sure if I want to trade Badger Bear for some treasure. Maybe we need to. Let's go make him deader. <laughs> Smell that? A bite to cook it. Yeah, 
yeah, some treasure has been really good, hasn't it? Yeah, both some treasure, urchin, both of those cards, I have been quite impressed with. They have both both outperformed, like just the. The answer is here somewhere. They have both outperformed what I thought they'd be doing. Okay, discard one, draw one has looked really good. They had double Captain Farron that they just discarded. My experiments! The wood can't fight back, but I can't. Challenge crowd favorites and use Ranger's Resolve. Or I just challenge one of the other things. It may be best just as far as like winning this game. Maybe best just to you trade Ranger's Resolve for crowd favorites. Well, I mean, they're, they're just not going to... They're not going to block with crowd favorite, right? Like, yeah, they just take these, but then, then they have a 5-4... Overwhelm coming on the way back. No, I guess we'll, we'll try this, but I'm I'm worried about a 5-4 Overwhelm. I don't know if they play like another Captain Farron or something. You know, like, it's kind of scary. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think I care about that Overwhelm guy. I guess, I guess I'll guess i go, I'll go with y'all's line of this. Because, like, we're gonna, we're gonna be killing them eventually. Like, we'll be grinding them down eventually, right? Feels like the only way we lose is Overwhelm guy killing us. still alive, I see. Despite Beaver's best efforts. And, I don't know, Overwhelm and then get... Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Um. Stand down. Your conquest ends here. Ah, shut up. I hope that's not vision. Thanks, Nakano. Thank you. That was very nice of you. I hope so too. I hope I hope that person um you know really appreciates that. I do. Uh Senna's not, yeah, Senna's not a champion, but I guess. Now we're cooking. <laughs> Is Senna maybe a champion in League of Legends? Maybe? Maybe that's what. They're saying there. So yeah, I don't I don't know who are champions in League of Legends and then followers in Rotera. I guess y'all are saying Senna and Yone. Now it's a party. Okay, GG's. None escape their shadow.
It's nice when they never kill your Zed. <laughs> you know, you play Zed on turn three that's attacking, and they just never kill it. You get to attack with it on turn three, and turn five, and turn seven, and turn nine. Legends say that the Zed Champion spell was once useful. Alright, let's see how we do against Ash Zed Let's see if we can go underneath them. We don't get to dodge this matchup forever. Don't think we really need Ranger's Resolve. I do I do want Repost to go along with a Zed after a Frostbite card. Right? Like I I um Wow, they don't have Omen Hawk. I play Zed, attack with Zed, they brittle steal Zed, and then I repost afterwards. Don't protect Zed. They could just have Coaling Strike, but at least we got a backup Zed. Heimer's okay. Yeah, I wouldn't say Heimer is bad. Heimer's okay. Ah, behind you, a Yeti! Yetis? There's no such thing. That's pretty cool. That was a cool interaction. I don't think I've ever heard those two say that. That's pretty cool. New recruit reporting in. Hot on the trail. Do not fear the shrouded path. to refill quite cheaply. Pain is nothing. Got your back. It's quite nice being able to play the three spells in one turn. I go to combat, they're taking like eight. They block Zed, take eight. I'll do my best. 
just have to be worried about like the two mana three one frostbites and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Zed's just gonna die. Cool. I will definitely take that. Alright, so if, if I do cast... Oh, darn, I got another blocker. Alright, so if I cast Relentless Pursuit, I'm looking at five additional mana. So I can play War Chefs and Lucian and Relentless Pursuits. Um, that should give me a lethal, right? Push back to darkness. Won't get Try to talk. Oh no, no, they're at six, not five. I was thinking they're at five. They're at six. Why do I think they were at five? Hmm. Not lethal. How do I do one additional point of damage? Basically, I if I attack out here, I lose. If I go War Chef to Shadow, I lose Protector and I lose Lucian, and they just lose their Sentry. So I will have two things left, and they have all these cards. How do I actually do one point of damage? Head to the base. Honor guide me. Eat up, friend. Look out for reason. Why did I think they were at 5 when they were at 6? I guess because I just dealt 5 damage. You know, they were at 11. I was dealing 5, and just in my mind, I was thinking that they were going to 5. I should have just gone Lucian Bannerman. I will unite the Freljord. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. Few are in the right to call themselves Trifarian. Soldiers, to me! I mean, if I if I buff Bright Steel, I guess yeah, I guess they would be at two. I guess they would have to block Bright Steel, right? If I buff Bright Steel, and so they would be at two, and I would still have the Bright Steel. So they'd have to block there. The wood can't fight back, but I can. See the Nebastian border from here. Their pride will cost them. The time is right. Strike now. Pretty close. Well, I mean, it depends if they if they don't play anything. Yes, we can get them, but it depends if they if they play something. My gun does the talking. Um, charge! Hold nothing back.
can't fight on an empty stomach. Show them our teeth. I know a challenge when I see one. Heed my words! You fought well. Eyes bigger! <laughs> Can we just draw warning shots, please? Warning shots? Attack here. Just threw away a three three. Done. I think I needed to I needed to war chefs pump up the bright steel protector make that a four three because then they couldn't let that they couldn't let the four three go through um yeah so then they still could have killed two of my things though they could have had Sejuani kill the four three and then the two one kill block the two two and they could have still gone to one and gotten and killed two of my things but then I would have Lucian at that point Tough to say. I mean, I, I wish I didn't cast the the Relentless Pursuit when I did. I wish I would have played Bannerman first. I thought it was lethal in my mind. I was just wrong. I was dealing the five damage. And I thought that they were going to five. I just had it just mixed up in my brain. So I definitely wish I would have played the Bannerman that turn. That's probably why I'm really bad with Relentless Pursuit decks. I just, I just never liked that card. And it, it cost me that game, because I thought I had lethal and I didn't. Never liked that card. No suffering, so we may end it. I guess this... I guess this deck just doesn't fit my playstyle nearly as much as like the mid-range Demonsi deck. I, I can use that as deflecting on blame of me playing that game poorly and some of these other games kind of poorly. Alright, let's mess some folks up. TK, thank you so much, TK, for the sub. I appreciate that. My plan was to back to back, but of course they just they passed. So we still have the back to back.
Basically rekindle her, getting Thresh back. Would be very bad. Just that. Don't really like you know we don't really take advantage of Zed here you know if I would have played Zed we don't have like room for another attacker anyway. Like just getting the Badger Bear in play and saving Zed. Find enlightenment. Your attack is obvious. Hey, Shreem. Put another karma into play. Um, thankfully, it'll be attacking. We can just block with like a three two. It'd be safer to block with a three four against um, Grasp the Undying. The Scythria does, does nothing. We wouldn't attack with it anyway. There's no reason to cast it. The answer lies within. Show them our met. No one goes hungry. They have Withering Whale. We lose. They have no spells. Maybe we have a chance. No spells with their eight card hand that they haven't really played very many spells this game and they just generated two spells from karma Maybe they have none Looks like a withering whale to me Just 
steel tempers? Okay. Not a withering well. think if they'd have good cards they would play them faster like it wouldn't be hard to play them but maybe they don't have good cards so it's just a steel tempest what could they possibly have though we each died oh. and then found hope. yeah that's a good card any chances they're just gonna sit back and take forever I'm I'm not gonna just waste my life but we don't, we don't have any chance. they were putting karma number three into play um yeah I guess I just really prefer the other versions of Demacia I just prefer having all of the the units that stay alive and all the challengers and things like that um I, yeah, I just prefer those decks more. Um, yeah, this one just wasn't for me. Uh oh, I just hit, I, yeah, hit the equal button, not the delete button. It's right there next to the, the delete, my bad. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, not too impressed with this. We did play against three control decks. They all... Um, you know, like, we, we struggled against all of them. Um, yeah, just not, not the version for me. <clears throat> uh, we did play Zed... You know, like, I've been having a lot of success with the Zed Shen deck, which is kind of similar. You know, just Demacia cards. It has Zed in, in a Demacia deck. It has Shen. It goes a lot bigger. It has Swift Wing... Uh, Swiftwing, Silverwing Vanguard. There, there we go. I think that's the name of the card. No, Swiftwing Lancer. Swiftwing Lancer. I don't know. There. Yeah, not Silverwing Vanguard. That's the wrong one. Swiftwing Lancer. That's it. So it has the Swift Swiftwing Lancer is more Genevieve Elmhearts. Genevieve was very good for us as that's one of. Um. You know, and and yeah, I'm, I'm just more of a fan of like Protege over Badger Bear. Challenger is just amazing. Challenger is such a great mechanic, and I just love the Challenger versions of Demacia. All right, but there we go. That's Bannerman Zed. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. I myself just am, I'm just never impressed with these with the Lucian Relentless Pursuit Senna decks. Like I don't like the Lucian Misfortune deck either. I like Lucian, but I just don't like these Relent... I don't know. I just don't really like these Relentless Pursuit decks. I just... I'm just never really impressed by them. That's... That's just kind of my take on them. They're always ones that I love getting paired... Love getting to... I'm more speaking of the Misfortune Lucian now, because I haven't really played against this version too much, but the Misfortune Lucian, I love getting paired against that with everything. Um, but... Um, but... Oh, well... All right, uh, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, if you have success with this kind of stuff, let me know. What am I missing? Um, you know, feel free to leave those comments. I would appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.